two seconds. I gave you instructions in the dressing room. I want to clean fight, obey my commands at all times, or protect yourself at all times. Touch them up, let's go to war. All right, Steve, with that, let's take a look at the tail of the tape. And the numbers tell us Hoskins usually comes forward, Barry, but for this fight, he says, I'll start off with the jab and see where it goes. And he has a five and a half inch reach advantage, so that sounds like a plan. And the rules. The rules here in California, no standing eight, no three knockdown. The ref or doctor can stop the fight. You can be saved by the bell only in the last round. And the accidental foul rule if the fight is stopped by an accidental foul. Before the start of four, tech draw. After that, we go to the car. Ah. All right, with that, our first fight of the evening, Hoskins in the blue trunks and Santos in the black and red with a blue band. These guys couldn't be more different personalities. Well, that's for sure. Hoskins was a an entertaining interview to say Stand the Stand up. <laughs> Double jab by Hoskins. Both fighters said they'd take the first round, see what the other had. That's exactly the way this fight starts out. We take a look at the amateur experience for Santos. Barry mentioned he was a bronze medalist in the Pan Am Games. That's a very high-level competition. Hoskins, no national amateur experience, only 21 fights. He's only 22 years old. That left hand staggered Hoskins, and another left hand behind him, and an uppercut drops him. And Hoskins, it's over just like that. Less than one minute into this one, a left hand started it, a left uppercut finished it. I mean, this is the guy that we saw yesterday in the fighter meetings. He has no fear. This guy sparred guys like Manny Pacquiao, American, Daniel Ponce de Leon, and uh, Braulio Santos goes in here and gets them done in one round. Maybe that was the problem. He had no fear. Yeah, he, he had never been, he had been stopped once, Hoskins, uh, two fights ago, but never down. And, uh, you know, Barry, it just seems like we keep showing these good young fighters from Puerto Rico whether it be on Show Extreme, Showbox, or Showtime Championship Box. Now we have another one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there really does, Raul, seem to be a, a, a renaissance of Puerto Rican fighters. A lot of good young fighters coming up. Yes, a lot of talent, you know, uh, due, due to uh, Miguel Cotto, who's uh, promoting. He's promoted by Miguel Cotto, Braulio Santos. And, and again, I think it goes back to the amateur pedigree. I mean, this guy had a, a, a high amateur status, and, and I, I like what I saw in him going in and out. And just uh, you know, set it up, work different up with the jab, and with a great shot. <laughs> One great shot and yeah. another great follow-up, and that was all she wrote. And here it is. This fight didn't last too long. You see a jab to the belly, and then a left hook. And the thing is, we so often criticize fighters for having their hands down. Well, Hoskins had his right hand up, and the hook still caught him. And then the second hook sent him to Sleepy Land. That was some shot. He tried to get up, but his legs were not there. Once again, there's that left hook with the glove up. It still snuck into the ch chin. And that beautiful double left hook or left uppercut left hook combination. You know, our producer, Rich Gwan, said this was going to be a brawl. He was right. Yeah. It was just One quick. One-sided brawl. <laughs> yeah, it was quick. We, we anticipated a knockout. We just didn't know which guy was going to go. And uh, I think Braulio Santos answered that very, very emphatically. I, I think that's the the key word emphatically. I mean, I, I don't care who this guy was fighting. Those are some sharp punches and sharp combinations. Yeah, very short and sharp. If you see, uh, he, you know, he wasn't wide open. Hoskins was open, wide open, and dropped his hands. And, you know, what did it is that the, just the short, accurate 